can you adjust the 3D footage? So, I've got some 3D here, it's okay. When you're in 3D, you've got to think about things that you don't think about when you're thinking in 2D. In other words, you've got to think about the third dimension. Where is this bird in relation to the TV? Is he in front of the TV? Is he behind the TV? Is he at the place where the TV screen is? Looking at other shots of wandering down the beach, where is this litter bin? Where is that? Where are these people? All in relation to the TV screen. Now, you know, I can do that sort of thing when I'm filming in the camera, but it's quite hard to get right when you're doing it live. There's just an awful lot of things to think about. So you want some way of adjusting it afterwards. Now to do that, Grass Valley have added in a video effect, which is called the Stereoscopic Adjuster. Drop it onto a clip, open it up, and you can see I've got some very simple little sliders up here, which is adjusting how near or how far away that image is from the screen. Now, if you've got your red and blue glasses on, you may even be able to see this on this piece of video that I'm showing you. As I fiddle around with that, it's adjusting where, say, the bin is in relation to the screen. I mean, you can see the red and the green there actually moving across the screen and that will change the position of the bin there in relation to your television. Now as I'm doing that, what I'm effectively doing is taking the left image and the right image and moving them around a bit. So I am ending up with some peculiar edges around here. You know, if I shift the left image over to try and sort out the position in 3D space, it leaves a hole. So there's a nice auto trimming option which will sort that out for you so you don't get any strange holes around the edge. But it makes it very easy to sort out you know, where this stuff is in 3D space. Same thing with Mr. Bird here. Open him up, and I can adjust where that bird is in relation to the TV screen. And it's very important that you get this kind of thing right, because if you get it wrong, then in the worst case scenario, you'll basically be giving your audience headaches. So a nice little filter here for adjusting that kind of stuff. Now I've done the very simple stuff down here. You can see down the bottom, I've got options here for keyframing everything. And I've also got separate options for the left eye and the right eye. You can sometimes get problems with items which are right at the edge of the screen like this. So there are times when you actually want to adjust it and maybe just crop off the edge of one of the images so that you don't have some sort of peculiar edge problems with your 3D footage. That's why we have separate settings for left and right. You'll also notice down here in the filter list that there is a left and a right box. So I can just untick that and now it's only affecting the left tick both, it's affecting both. You'll notice if we go through various other filters, there's a left and right setting for both of those as well. All the filters have basically got a left and right setting on them now. So on the color correction front, now I'm not gonna have an issue with this on my camera, because everything was filmed through one camera, so I'm never gonna have a problem where, say, the left eye is a bit yellower than the right eye. But if you're filming on two separate cameras on some kind of stereo rig, then you might have a problem where the color isn't exactly the same. So you might want to affect just the left or just the right. So Edius has got the tools for that. You can also use the stereoscopic adjuster on titles. So I've put a title on the video track, added the stereoscopic adjuster to it, and now I can just fiddle with the near and the far to move the title in 3D space, even in front of the screen or behind the screen. You could actually do that with anything. I could actually take a clip and stick it on top of another clip, and then if I were to open up the old layouter and make it a bit smaller, I can now adjust where that picture in picture is in 3D space. Now I could have done it with the stereoscopic adjuster, but actually in the old layouter, we do have the same thing. So I can adjust it in the layouter exactly where that is in 3D space. And you have to think about this stuff when you're doing 3D, especially when you start doing effects, because there are times when you can do an effect and put a picture in picture in there, and because of the position it is in 3D space, it just doesn't look right, and it looks confusing. You probably can't see the problem when you're actually looking at the footage here on this tutorial, because you haven't got a proper 3D screen attached, but believe me, it is something you need to sort out. Edius has got the tools to do it.